This bull riding stuff is mostly mental. Right before you're gonna get on, your mind's gonna tell you you can't do it. I wanted to be a part of this docu-series just because the simple fact it's just a, another outreach program for the PBR. Uh, I love this sport so much and any opportunity I can to push it into the mainstream media so that we can have more fans and more people can love this sport just like I do. Uh, I'm ready to jump on board at any time. For me, it doesn't seem like a lot of pressure being an African-American just because uh, I've done my research. Uh, there's so many great cowboys that came before me and there'll be great cowboys that come after me. Uh, I guess the only pressure is doing a good job of making sure that uh, people want to continue doing it because it's such a huge part of our culture uh, that not a lot of people know about. Folks, here we go! There's not another sport that comes with this amount of danger. Oh. It's not a hobby sport. This is a sport that you've got to have a passion and, and literally be, be, you know, be loved enough to die for it. We love to do this, and it's a passion. And the bull riders, for example, it's, it's something that's, that's instilled in them by God. Just like some people, you know, have a passion to jump out of airplanes and stuff. This is their passion that they that they, they want to ride bulls and they truly love doing it. My husband, for example, you'll see, you know, he was, he's paralyzed still from, from the sport of bull riding. But the first thing when the doctor come in and told him that, Hey, you're never going to walk again. The first thing my husband said to the doctor was, do you mean I can't ride bulls anymore? That's the first thing that popped in his head. You know, that's how much he loved it. I definitely wouldn't be doing it if, if I didn't love you. You see, I got a little scar on my head here from a couple of weeks ago where we were working bulls and, and got kicked and the gate knocked me out. It kicked the gate, knocked me out. And I had four stitches here and a few staples in the back, but we're up and we're getting ready to go buck calves here again in a minute. So, um, but you just, you love it. And, and that's what I say a lot of the, the bull riders when they're finding girls i'm like if this is what you want to do the rest of your life you better you better find a girl that, that ain't scared to wear mud boots um during the weekend or stilettos on the weekends i just want everybody to see how normal we are in a way uh and, and how human we are at, at a lot of times we get uh this these that we're crazy guys and we have this really tough guy persona i believe that uh a lot of people will see this softer side to some guys and uh just the the willingness to to be able to compete 